Hello folks, Mark Emery here. Today I'm coming to you on behalf of the Panama Christian Foundation and the World Mission Church. And this video is a very special thank you to all of our contributors to the Venezuela Project. I'd like to show you what your contributions are actually accounting for and what they're actually doing to help people. It's just absolutely critical, life-saving support that you have been giving us and I cannot thank you enough. In this video I'm going to first show you a little bit about what the situation is. If perhaps you have not yet seen some of our previous videos, I want you to get a good grasp of what the situation actually is and I'm going to share with you a piece done by the New York Times on what's happening in Venezuela, all right, to show you the gravity of the situation there. And then I'm going to show you what your contributions have done to help people in ways that are just absolutely mind-numbing, but life-saving. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you've not yet made a con contribution to the Venezuela Project and would like to, I'll leave information for you to do that at the end of this video or in the description box below, okay? So let me show you what's going on. Thank you and God bless you.
your contributions are helping us buy food. What Alexander does is he goes out and buys what he can with what he has and he'll create little care packages and he'll deliver these little care packages to families in his area who are most needy, especially with children. These are nurses in the hospital, very happy to have something. This little girl has her food and her medicine. What a joy. Word gets out and this is what it looks like in front of Alexander's house when people realize he has things to bring. This is how people get their medicine. They can't get treated at the hospital unless they bring their own medicine. They don't have money and they can't find it. So they go on the chat, please help me. I need this for my dying daughter. And this is how they do it. One little ampule of medicine like this could be $90 on the black market and they need several. Saline solution, a $3 item, $60 on the black market. And if they don't get that, they don't get their medicine. This is what you see on the street. All right, we spend a lot of time in the pediatrics ward, uh, little kids with cancer. Amazing and unending problems, malnutrition. Uh, so we're out scrambling uh, amongst the pharmacies, the black market, wherever we can find what these people need. And your contributions are allowing us to do that. But we need to smuggle it into the hospitals because if the government's not involved, they don't, in, they don't allow it. So we have to use the personnel in the hospital to smuggle it in clandestinely. But it is getting in. Enrique here, due to malnutrition, lost use of his legs with nerve and muscle problems. With diet and medicine, he's getting back on track. This is his family. With food, Brianna, nine kilo tumor. The doctors gave her no hope to survive. Look at the scar, they already operated once. We were able to get involved and look at her now today. What an angel. Just beautiful. And this is what your contributions do, folks. Here's Christian with a similar problem. Christian, thanks to you, is now recovering, getting back to being a normal little boy. So the medicine is going to those who need it as much as we possibly can, but it's not enough. We also have a refuge for dogs. We've built a dog. This is how they come to us, emaciated. This poor girl was eating a piece of paper when we found her to put something in her stomach, just heartbreaking. And this boy had his ears ripped off in a street fight with other dogs. Here's Zeo. Look at how emaciated he is. You'll see him in just a minute. Here's Zeo again, healthy, happy. Look at how beautiful he is having all kinds of fun on a hot Venezuela day, cooling himself off. So we built a refuge special for these guys. We're housing about 40 of our newfound family. They're all happy as can be. They've come to us emaciated with terrible injuries and look at how they are now. Here's Zeo again, another hot Venezuelan afternoon, and what luxury, he's got his own doggy pool. <laughs> you can see the dogs lined up behind him waiting for their turn to get in, but doesn't look like Zeo's going to move anytime soon. He looks pretty happy right where he's at. Anyway, folks, this is what you can do. You can help us really take misery and turn it into miracles. And that's what we can do together. Find out more. Look us up on the internet, pcfpanama.org. Thank you for your contributions, and may God bless you all.